Here are some lures I picked up for 50 cents off AliExpress, and honestly, I can't recommend these. So here are some little small crawfish crankbaits I picked up off of AliExpress. Got, a, got three different colors of them, real cheap, sent to me from overseas. Wasn't sure what they'd look like in person. Don't know if you guys have ever tried these out, but I got them for 50 cents. And oddly, I can't find them anywhere now. They're not even available now on AliExpress or eBay. Uh, anything that looks like these, at least while I'm filming this today, they're not. Uh, originally, they were sold by the same people that made those little silly crayfish crankbaits I've been using that have the smiley faces and stuff on them, which are basically a W lure mold that actually are really cool. Well, these are only 50 cents, so I said, heck, I'm going to pick some up. Uh, and this is what they fit to me. I don't know if you guys have used them or not, but uh, I tinkered around with them. I got a red and black, an orange and black, and a green and black. From the side, they look okay, but they're a smaller profile crawfish, but still fairly deep diver. Um, but this one here, they don't have like the gap there in the, in the claws. But I tried these out uh, on a local pond using the Water Wolf underwater camera, and they just kept, well, they got a little bit of a true action, but they only went for a couple of feet, and then they automatically swerved off to the side. Uh, I tinkered around with it with the guide a little bit, and they still just didn't swim well at all. Maybe guys have better luck with them. But anyway, they're listed or were listed on AliExpress. Not much to it. They were, like I said, 50 cents a pop, so it didn't hurt to try them out and see. But they were listed as Super Deal dry, Diving Minnow Fishing Lure Hard Plastic Swim Bait with two treble hooks, artificial bait fishing accessories. Had a pretty good listing on it, actually, and they've got a whole sales uh, site there on AliExpress. But, uh... You can look through it if you want to on the post, but I mean, there's not much to it. They're not even there anymore. But looking at it, there's some play in the little uh, guide on the very front. It's got some wiggle in it. That's not very good. It does have split rings and it has the hooks, some cheap looking little like shiny metal hooks on it. Solid little piece of plastic though otherwise. But... Like I said, the guy here is loose. They just—they don't—they weren't swimming well. They just didn't hold up right underwater. But uh, maybe you guys can play around with them and see this one here. It's got a little—I don't know—the guide's a little bit tighter in that one. But that's one that I tested out, and like I said, it just swam off to the side. Anyhow, if you see them, I wouldn't put any effort into them. But for 50 cents, I had to try them out. Anyway, guys. Here's another Fishy Acker video. If you haven't yet, click and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up and comment down below. But uh, this is one, I don't know. If you get them really cheap, maybe you could try them out and see if maybe you can tweak the guides and get them to swim better than I did. But I wouldn't take the effort into it. Fishyacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.